and we made it all the way to episode 8. So I walked around the town and talked to everybody. Um, it turns out you could actually catch a Meg Bee here, unfortunately. I killed it and already got the Spiper here, so I couldn't get another Pokemon. I also given an egg, and I found the Nuzlocke store. It's uh, exclusive for Nuzlocke people, and it's pretty cool. So, I want to buy an EXP share, but I don't have enough money right now. But some of the stuff that they have is just ridiculous. They have EXP share, super cheap leftovers. Actually, I'm gonna get a couple more of these. We just give some to our whole team. Uh, they have Nuzlocke balls, which look totally badass. They've got unclosed circuit at foe's feet, uh, so like entry hazards. You could uh, have an entry hazard that paralyzes them. It's a uh, priority dragon type move. This uh, turns them to ice type, uh, an entry hazard that freezes Pokemon when they enter, has a chance to freeze. And it's just awesome. There's a move that uh, if, if you use it against a grass type, uh, it burns everyone in their party weak to fire. And yeah, it's cool. Also, the Mart uh, sells some interesting stuff. So many different builds to choose from. PP up survives by a Gura. That is to say, I can choose whatever I want. So, uh, it's good to see that the people of Fiangia City have some good variety. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, we got a Togepi. Uh, I got an egg, I hatched it out of curiosity. I can't use it since we already got the Spiper. So we're just going to go break into the Pokehadron Glider and shatter Team Olympus' hopes and dreams. Starting with this fisherman. My Pokemon know more than just sl splash, I promise. You're working for Team Olympus. I know it, the way you sit on your tackle box. Ruthidian! This is a good chance for Knives Chow to get some good experience. Unless they have, like, ice moves, but I definitely do at this level. Super rough entertainment. Oh, and, uh, Rock and Rolla is now adamant. There is a, there was a person in town who offered to change the nature of one Pokemon to adamant, and Rock and Rolla was the first Pokemon who benefited the most from it, so, uh, it's no longer Jolly, it's adamant. Which is good, because Rock and Rolla was too slow for Jolly to be any good. Adamant's better. And now it just has a monstrous attack, and it will be even better once it evolves. Damn it! Well, that wasn't the greatest match. Was everyone here says the same thing? Just need money for that EXP share. Let's take out this fisherman. Hey, kid, shape up. Let's battle. Not if he's sitting on his tackle box too, all well, disrespectful like. Yep. Not if you had a hook in there. Ooh, Carvana. Interesting. Rage. Super effective. Oh, yes! I need to put leftovers on all my Pokemon now. That's some shenanigans that are great. Leftovers would be very helpful, especially on Knives Chow. I should be able to heal off of some battles. Alright, Garman fainted. He turns 33 points of experience. Damn it, well, that wasn't the greatest match, was it? I swear, they're like clones. All working for Team Olympus Undercover. So, uh, we're going to... Oh, I also got a Moonstone. And... I don't know if I got the Firestone earlier. Bought some potions and random stuff. Got two Nuzlocke Balls, which are awesome. And... Where are my leftovers? Battle items. Nope. Berries. Is it berry? A lot of berries. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Five. Give. Nice job. Uh, loader. We're gonna give them all to everyone but Krusty Crab for now. Although Krusty Crab will get some after, and I'll get the EXP share. Although I'll probably only use that for the uh, the uh, grinding off screen. Oh, there's also a uh, sim battle simulator thing where you get to battle fake people, um, kind of like uh, the battle tower and whatnot, but I can't do that until after we get the diamond badge. So I can try that out after, although if it if it does affect the Nuzlocke rules, I don't know if I really want to because those battles are you're meant to lose some Pokemon. Alright, 
bug catcher. I really want to get a girlfriend. I'm not going to risk Pokemon for some item in a Nuzlocke campaign. Nincata versus Krusty Krab. Alright, it's bug. So it'll go down to a smackdown. Oh, ground resists rock. Yeah. Let's go rock blast. Yeah. Pretty happy with my team right now. It's not the most well rounded, but it works. Got too many rock types, that's the real problem. Oh, and uh, the fourth gym is uh, Steel type. And the leader is. Oh, Baseball Cap Cat. And the leader is PK076 or something. An artificially intelligent robot, according to the people in the town. Six good. So that'll be fun to battle. It's cool that they have a robot gym leader for the Steel Gym. No, that's not gonna do you any good. Got sturdy, even if you do get some miracle crit. Alright, Master Up goes down. Baseball that <laughs> couldn't protect me, blasphemy. Uh, I love some of the things these people say. Oh, mild encounter. Sorry, I'm not interested. We've got a battle, interesting. Oh, can't escape. You speak lies. I will escape. Got away safely. Okay. Wait, what's time? Oh, already battled those people. And now more fishermen, I think. There should be another route up here, too, so we'll be able to get another Pokemon. That looks like a swimmer. And that's a fisherman. So we're gonna go back into Knives Chow. And. Uh, I'm gonna heal it up just a bit. It's these low levels, it's always to go in with close to max health. And that's why I got regular potions, because those aren't as expensive. Oh, you're a kid, you're not even worth my time. Not as expensive to top up the rest of their health. But once it evolves, it'll get a lot more health. Although with a love disc, I probably could have just healed off of like, the first turn. I thought it'd be faster. It's a good thing I didn't use a track either. Well, that's a disappointing level up. That was... It's a horrible level up. Attack harshly fell. It's a good thing I'm a special attacker. Luck just goes down. And just 420 experience. That's it. Wait a bit. Try chain. That was the greatest match, was it? You copied. You have the same amount of money as the other people, too. You're just like. the same person. Sometimes when I swim, I see the coolest things in the water. Like Gyaradoses. Possibly. Hollywig. No match. Oh, um, it's a match. Okay. Let's hope I don't sleep too long. Double slap. Times. That's good. I'll heal most of that with the leftovers. Haha! <laughs> you only did three damage that turn. That's not even gonna do three. Oh, it's a crit. Did four. <laughs> Still asleep. You can't hurt me. And I healed more than it did to me that time. Yay! Polywake. We're gonna have to start giving someone else some experience. Who's gonna fight the water types? That's the question. Uh, let's get Seahost Rude. Because. Uh, or Catwoman. Let's go Catwoman. I don't remember whether or not electricity resists water, so it might not be a good idea to use motor. I hope you're ready to lose. I've been training with my fish Pokemon for ages. Because if electricity resists water, then I can use motor, but I don't think it does. Feebass. I wonder if these are all the water types you can catch around here. Hit like a truck. 
and it's also females, but we don't need to spend too much time on that. I wonder if I uh, already know what he's going to say. Damn, that wasn't the greatest match ever, was it? Yeah, I can read your mind, Fisherman Vaudry. I can read your mind. Do you want the good rod? Beat me and the rest to go talk to the fisherman at the top of this route. Oh, sweet. Get a good rod. That'll be useful. I can use the good rod over at the first town if we ever end up back there again. It's the route above the first town we never caught up over one because we didn't have a rod. And... Well, we're going to do that and get the AXP share. Although, if that's all I do in this episode, that would be a little disappointing. I'll try and get more. So just rush through these battles with cavalry. None of these fishermen have been particularly good. At the top of the route. Is that you? I'm the greatest fisherman in the world. I'm gonna destroy you. Finian. Uh, also level 16. I'm not too greedy. Water gun. Yay. Net one damage. Not even because I level up. <laughs> Alright, another pity on. And just for the sake of it, assist. See what happens. Overheat. <laughs> well, this is probably the worst move. Yeah. Definitely thinking that was the worst move I could have used. I think the Finian has Swift Swim too, so it'll go first this time. Yep, it has Swift Swim. Wow. Barely, barely held on there. Plus it's iron defense. Oh. I should have just finished it off. I was really hoping for something funny like another overheat or a leech seed. Oh, leftovers work. Oh, I guess it doesn't work at the end of the battle. Is this a new route? Nope, that's a fisherman who has the rod. So just two more people. It's like a three gold magic carp at the same time. That's, that's pretty impressive. those Magikarp are. I hope you didn't eat them. I wonder how Magikarp would taste. Aurora Beam? That is interesting. Kinda glad I didn't have Knives Chowing. Could've done a... Well, I wouldn't have killed it. But it would've done a lot of damage. Another real raid. Catwoman needs to get a better attack unit. Base 40 power for suit isn't very useful against computers that never switch or run away. So we're gonna let Sea Host Roof finish off the last one. Fisherman Han. Is there one more? Yep, this is the last one. And then we can get our good rod. And start using Krusty Crab Rock and Roll Line Motor, because it won't be weak to the water types. My battling skills will blow your mind. Actually, I'm not overly great when it comes to covering water types. Unless I switch uh, Rotom over, which I could do if I had to. Although I'd rather not. Haha, <laughs> Magikarp can't even hurt me. He's getting crit just to register. So, I guess we have a good rod now. Plus, the uh, leader person has just a crazy team. This is a whole route with Pokemon at the same level. Kind of expected a steady increase. Because the first couple of battles were a little bit tougher than this. My OCD kicked in and I needed to get them all up to level 20. Come on! Fisherman's Challenge. Feed every fisherman on the strip to upgrade your old rod to a good rod. Amazing deal. Hey, wow, we did the challenge. And wow, you have an old rod. Would you like to exchange it for a good rod? Yes. 
Dark Bay, put the good rod in the key in his pocket. There you are, good luck with the fishing. What if I can't use the old rod anymore? But it matters. Route 307, we can catch a new Pokemon, but first things first, we're going to use Rock and Rolla and take out whoever this is. This goes here, and this goes... Ah, what's my engineering degree good for if I can't build things with it? Ooh, it's an engineer. Magnemite. Interesting. Uh, it's four times weak to Blood Slap, but my special attack is absolutely horrible, so we'll see how this does. Oh, Steel type attack. Yep. That was garbage. Gear grind yet, but it should. Yeah, it's gear grind, yep. And sturdy doesn't protect me against that either. But this battle is over. Pokemon that we'll have on our team that I've actually used before. Well, I mean, I've used Rotom, but on a competitive team, and not much. <laughs> Weed Pokemon. This Pokemon grows by absorbing moonlight. During the daytime, it buries itself in the ground, leaving only its leaves exposed to avoid detection by its enemies and its grass boards. Uh... Well, it's a Weed Pokemon, so there's a lot of jokes I could go with that. And Gloom looks horribly stoned. Uh... Oddish Vile Gloom. Oh, I forget. Ah, uh, we're gonna call you... Carrion. Plant. Because that's what you are. Carrion Pla! Carrion Pla! Let's transfer to Wyatt's PC. Alright, so now let's go get some XP share and explore the rest of that area on the way to Nyasya Town. I don't think that's how it's pronounced. If, if it is, I'm, I'm really sad for the people because they have to go around saying Nyasya all the time. That'd get pretty annoying. Especially listening to that all the time, and someone just comes up to you and is like, Hey, where are you from? I'm from Nyasya Town. And you just automatically just seem very, un very unintelligent. But I mean, if it was a nice town, you could get away with it. Then you have something to brag about. Kind of makes up for the whole Nyasia part. Heal up, and get some EXP share. And I'm not to keep track of how much money I got, but uh, getting a hold of that Dragon Tail would be absolutely awesome for uh, Kingdra. A priority stab? I would very much like that, unless it has very low accuracy, in which case, it would kind of even out. 
unless it's like a low power, like your standard quick attack. Nuzlocke Lord. Bunch of useful items. Bye. Sweet, I have enough to get this and Draco Jet. Or is there anything else I want? Draco Jet, center of his accuracy, second attack, flash freeze, turn some into rock types. Oh! That's, that's pretty cool. Special stats, fumble, wildfire. I kind of want to get that too. But it's only if it's grass type. And we already beat the grass gym. So there's no one that's going to be, that that's going to be very uh, consistent with. So we're just going to go with Draco Jet. That also just sounds awesome. Apparently there's also a place where you could make custom items, or custom moves, which will be pretty fun. Oh, can I learn it already? Because that would be a good alternative to the useless move I have right now. Uh, use a skill, allows dragons to strike first. Teach trigger jet to a Pokemon. Okay, trying to trick to go jet. Or maybe sleep elder move. Yes. Should be forgotten. Uh, water gun. Water gun is useless. Although I don't know if uh, Kingdra is a special or a physical attacker. Doesn't matter, I can use the item more than once if anything else has the ability to learn it. Let's just see whether or not it's physical or special. I think it's both. We got mixed attacker. That's definitely special. But hey, priority moves are always good. Very useful. Especially if something keeps spamming Sucker Punch and I'm faster than it. Uh, I don't know if Sucker Punch is plus two priority though. I don't think it is. The Sucker Punch fails against uh, Bullet Punch. Yeah, no, it definitely doesn't work. Because I use Bullet Punch when Ma Wheels spam it on my Metagross. And I can normally get into a little bit of prediction mind games to stand a chance in that matchup. So entering the new area, who is going to lead? We saw a grass Pokemon entry as our first encounter. I kind of want to use Rock and Roller more just until it... Right now it's at that kind of weird stage where it's too weak for the area, but as soon as it evolves it'll catch up and be a substantial help. But it can't... Oh, Chat on! Oh, I'd have loved to have had a chat on. It's like one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Only because it learns Boom Burst, and Boom Burst is so much fun. But yeah, Rock and Rolla hits hard. I don't know that I want Rock and Rolla in front for the wild Pokemon, because it won't be able to run. So, we're going to have Catwoman, because Catwoman's the fastest. And we're starting to run out of time for this video. What will this be? Another chat -up. Just looks like a little music composer with like that neck frill thing and that... Yeah. The only problem is that they're really hard to catch for some reason. Ooh, dearly. So I guess I'll battle the trainer up ahead, and we'll call that an episode. Looks like a bug catcher. So I'll be able to use Rock and Roll. Alright, Pokemon. Switch. Or Krusty Krab. Krusty Krab hasn't gotten that much use, but, eh, that's the best Pokemon in the entire world. So if it's a Butterfree, I'll be sad. Then, uh... Lady Buzz is terrifying in the Storm Silver and that's a lot because it just gets every cool punch move. Yeah, like that. But it didn't make a difference, did it, Lady Buzz? No. Alright, who's next? Beedrill. I don't think Beedrill learns anything that can threaten me. It's a physical attacker, too. 
focus energy. Yep, you're the same as every Beedrill I've battled so far. Two shots. Not even challenging Rocky Rock. 891 experience is huge. And I'll leave under free. Oh, Scyther! Oh, one one hit point shy of resetting uh, the, uh, what do you call it? Sturdy. Anyway, that won't even survive. Nope. Bug flying. Didn't stand a chance. That'll be a lot of experience, too. Alright, and we'll call that episode. What but my powerful Pokemon? Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.